Kevin, before the break, we talked about the fact that every time someone turns on the light switch, that a veteran benefits from it. And I want you and John to go into a little more detail. I know that you guys support, for instance, the Lone Survivor Program, but tell us a little bit more about the different programs that you all support for veterans and other groups here in the Texas area. Sure. I'm going to defer to John and let him talk a little bit about the programs. So I think uh, Kevin was very specific when he selected um, and very thorough when selecting a lot of these military charities and wanted to make sure that they were, you know, financially, you know, stable and fun, but also did gave enough back to where um, the, the community really had an impact on the community. Um, and also he picked different categories to where we can uh, essentially different buckets. So like the housing bucket is kind of filled by the Fisher House. Um, military Warrior Support Foundation provides uh, homes for severely wounded and disabled veterans. Uh, you have the jobs bucket. With the Lone, Lone Star Veterans Association helps with career transition. Uh, you have the camaraderie bucket, which is like the Texas VFW. Everybody knows that the VFW is in there, the, the, the biggest, you know, absolutely. And then combat stress recovery. So many of our veterans are returning um, back with symptoms related to traumatic brain injury and combat stress. And Lone Survivor Foundation is is one of the best that does that with their combat stress retreats. So there's their uh, basically that was our goal is to have something for everybody, so to speak, and whatever the issue that the veteran and their family needed upon transition from military to civilian life to be able to, to, to donate to. And Kevin, I know you're very passionate about a particular subject, and that is the fact that we have so many veterans that are returning home, uh, that are coming back, that are, that are getting discharged, they're mustering out, and one of the biggest concerns is that there's a lack of employment for these people. And, and, and you have some very passionate thoughts about that. Can you, can you share those? Sure. I, I think it's an education process, and I think it's incumbent upon us um, it, it basically just just not us as veterans, but but us as a, as a society to to acknowledge that uh, uh, that that we have this large uh, force that that that's really going to be the next greatest generation coming into the workforce and be able to translate those skills and, and those uh, those assets that they utilized when they wore the uniform in, in how they can uh, translate in civilian. Um, uh, jobs and and for us it's easy you know uh, but but everything that made them successful the attention to detail the discipline uh, the ability to successfully uh, operate in in extreme conditions extremely stressful conditions if if that's not part of your mission statement or, or, or what you want to achieve as a company I, I think you should should, should readdress your uh, your goals and objectives but but those are what you get when when, when you get the returning uh, uh, you know military and veterans right now that the, all the things that made them successful and great when they're in and wearing the uniform translates into, into the needs that you have as as a company in, in, in educating the HR departments and and making sure that, uh, that that they all understand that that you know the acronyms and, and the skills that were in the military s- translate and, and here's how they do it excellent and John it wouldn't be fair if I didn't give you a chance to sell veteran energy to our audience so if you would Tell us why Veteran Energy is a good choice for the consumer. Well, we have the Power to Give Back program, and that's something that no other retail electricity provider has. We've provided over 20 different career opportunities for veterans just this year. We've donated over $75,000 to 14 different military affinity charities. Uh, We volunteer in the community. Just last week, we're over here in the Spring Branch area with the Spring Branch VFW Post 8790. Uh, We helped uh, a lot of those guys uh, with painting and uh, cleaning and uh, power washing. I mean, we did all kinds of stuff. So we really put our money where our our mouth is. But most importantly, I think it's about the customer experience. And, you know, there are no surprises with Veteran Energy. We're extremely transparent. We have to be since day one, as Kevin always says, that, you know, there is is no gray area. You know, we we operate only to to support these military families and the the families of our veterans. So we have to be uh, be forthright. And we bring that to the customer experience and make sure that our bills are so easy to read that our customers aren't, aren't confused. And when we do that, um, of course, they can also see in, a, in one of the lines that how much that they've actually donated to the affinity partner of their choice. We make that donation on their behalf, not just once, but throughout the life of the, their account through the Power to Give Back program. Excellent. So if someone wants to convert to Veteran Energy, how do they do it? It's easy. I mean, you go online, check us out, um, give us a call. Um, our number here is 713-465-2833. Um, uh, our website is www.veteranenergy.us. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn. Um, find us. We will take care of you, and we'll allow you to participate in the Power to Give Back program. Okay. And, and one other important thing, too, I think it's, uh, it's you know, as people are, 
are out there and, and they're looking at a, at a company. Uh, this isn't a this isn't a, a Veterans Day sale. It's not a it's not a one or two day event. This is this is what we do every day. And and you know, like John talked about, um, it's. That there is no gray area. It's it's completely transparent. You can come in. I mean, you guys know you you you, you come in and you you can feel it. And uh, um, we're out there. We're out there every single day doing what we said we were going to do. So so it's very important that people understand that that, that this is a company that that's it's our mission and, it, and it's every day. In the minute we have left, I'm going to ask a personal question of John. There's no such thing as an ex-marine, but I want to know of all the choices you had, why the United States Marine Corps. Well, um, that's right, David. Absolutely, we're former Marines, or uh, we just call each other, we call ourselves Marines still. But I always tell everyone I was in the Marine Corps three bad haircuts and thirty pounds ago. But uh, <laughs> um, but uh, the United States Marine Corps is one of the most storied organizations, one of the most elite fighting forces the world has ever seen. And with that tradition and that uh, that uh, significant commitment to excellence and the core values, that that's. When you want to join, you want to do the be the best. You got to join the best, and that's why I chose the United States Marine Corps. Excellent. Well, this is your last chance. So, once again, how can the audience reach Veteran Energy? Give us a call anytime seven one three four six five two eight three three, or go online www.veteranenergy.us. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Hit us up. We will take care of you and allow you to participate in the Power to Give Back program to support our military and veterans. Excellent, John. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, our and we'll be right back with the Consultants Corner right after this break on the Jobs Pipeline Radio Program. 